right. And finally, I would like to take a look at the big picture. So namely, what is kind of the overall architecture of a speech-powered application? So uh, if we move on, then, then we can kind of think that there's basically three things that must happen in every voice user interface. There's something related to audio capture. There's something related to processing the audio and something about reacting to the results of this process. So the first of these, this audio capture, and in our case, also network streaming, is taken care of by, uh, by our client libraries. The, it, it listens basically on the microphone, does maybe sample rate conversions and other technical steps that might, may or may not be needed, it depends a bit on the situation, and sends this audio to our API. Now, all you have to do as a developer is, is add already made UI components to, our, to your application, basically this microphone button that, that you often see in our demos. And then the second step happens behind the scenes. This is where our machine learning models extract relevant information from the user's speech and our API generates a stream of several events that are then sent back to the client one after the other. And what events now specifically are extracted indeed depends on how you have set up the natural language understanding system as I explained you know, a couple of slides ago. But finally, in the third step, the application must react to the events it receives from our API. So the front, for the front end developer, our client library then makes this step very similar to writing familiar callback functions that, that you might do when, when writing uh, dynamic websites in general.